Good morning, welcome to the channel guys. It is just after 3.30 a.m. And uh, I'm at the shop, well I'm at Mercy. I'm grabbing Floki. Yeah, I'm grabbing my girl. We got a ride to take today. So we've got to run down to Huntsville, Alabama, just outside of Huntsville and get a uh, 1981 GMC C30, or maybe a Chevy C30 um 28 foot a ramp truck so we got a uh, tow truck towing a tow truck today so before uh before rollbacks became popular ramp trucks were really popular so um yeah that's what we're going to go get it should be pretty interesting uh getting it set just right to tow it home uh, ramp trucks are notoriously low in the back so um, that could cause us an issue on how much we can pick it up in the front but i think we'll be all right um i opted for floki today because it's a light truck i would rather take my truck uh, but my concern is picking at the front axle um i don't know i don't know exactly what kind of front axle it's going to have in it and floki has three different ways i can grab it i can grab it by the axle fork it i can uh bus bar it or i can use floki's we finally got the other wheel grid in so i can actually use the l arms um so i got like i said i got uh, three different ways to do it so when we get there, we'll see what's, uh, see what the best way is. So uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, Floki's got a really small fuel tank, like, <laughs> like 50 gallons. So we may have to stop for fuel on the way down there. But uh, other than that, I'm going to run inside real quick. And I'm going to check on another YouTube video that's uploading for you guys right now. And then uh, I'm going to get the heck out of here. All right. Thanks for coming along. All right. So <clears throat> I stopped here. Uh, for a quick little break and breakfast. It's just after, it's about 5.30 a.m. Um, I'm in Columbia-ish, Tennessee. I think it's exit 46, I-65. Um, I'm here at the Loves. And I'm gonna go in here and grab a bite to eat real quick. Um, this one has an Arby's attached, and which I recently discovered, Arby's breakfast. It's on point, okay? So, uh, big fan. Hopefully, they have, hopefully they're open for breakfast. And um, so we're gonna get, uh, grab a bite to eat, and we are about about an hour and a half out from the truck. On Floki's doing good. Um, the longest trip. This will be the longest tow I, uh, we've had it on. Um, we're actually going to be taking this truck to Henderson, Kentucky. Um, sorry if the lighting's crap in here. I just I found out this morning that none of the dome lights work in here. So, perks the trucks when they sit, you know, they, they all obtain minor little issues. But, um, yeah, so this one's going all the way back to Henderson, Kentucky. So, it'll be about a four-hour tow. Um, we picked this truck up. We bought it just outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. So I drove it back from there. It did flawless, had no issues. Uh, I don't foresee us having any issues today. Hopefully we don't. Um, it's running great. It's doing good. So uh, she's just trucking right along with uh, with no, no no issues, no problems. So hopefully it stays the same when we get a load on the back. But yeah, I'm going to run in here, grab some breakfast, and then we'll get back on the road. So Arby's doesn't open till 6. <clears throat> it's 5.30. I'm not hanging out for half an hour, so I went ahead and grabbed a sausage, egg, and cheese French toast sandwich. So that's going to be breakfast this morning. I was really looking forward to Arby's. <laughs> I accidentally found out one morning that they they have really, really good breakfast. Um, but, oh well, you win some, you lose some. I'll get them next time. Now I know they open at 6 in a truck stop most of the time. At least this one. I'll probably use that for future reference on all of them. Anywho. I'm going to eat real quick, and we'll get back on the road. Well, we made it. It's a little after 7, 7.21. So, not too bad time down here. I spent a little bit of it. Took a, I took my time. I didn't get no rush. So, I didn't, uh, didn't feel like hurrying today. shape. I'm 
I'm not sure what's wrong with it. He said it just quit running. So I think I'm gonna use my L arms. Um, I could use the bus bar system, but they're more for 19.5s and 22.5 tires, and this doesn't have that on it. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, the L arms. Send it out where I think they need to be. It's a busy little gas station. all the time so I have a hard time knowing exactly where I need to be as far as how far back I need to be we should be able to reach it from there although I might not be centered quite enough oops a little bit
issue. That's the wrong size. We just ordered this L arm or this uh, wheel grid. And it's not right. Huh. For these L arms. Well, they sent us the wrong one. That's awesome. Man. Why can't anything ever go right? You know? Okay. Change of plans. Put them on the bus bars. kind of day we're gonna have today. <coughs> There's a little thing in there that you gotta push over out of your way. Well, that sucks. Super inconvenient. Oh well. Shane's new bus bar mount though. So, it seems to work pretty well. toolbox because they are heavy. He says it's supposed to be left is left and right is right. Pull 
up a little bit, tires in my way. But a job like this, that's why you bring a truck like Floki. Because it's very versatile and it's hookup methods. Like I said, I'd rather use the, the L arms, but these will do. Yeah, I'm still not far enough forward. Check the fitment of the wheel grid on the crossbar and it fit perfectly. We did not check the L arms. Also didn't know there's different sizes on this size of crossbar. I'm gonna go all the way in with that and just bet that that's how it's supposed to be. It's like a jigsaw puzzle to put together. We only ever saw one crossbar, one wheel grid that had that, that diameter crossbar. We really never assumed there's more than one. Watch now, I have to back up. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? All right. Love is short under reach, you know it? <laughs>
top one. Yeah. He's bumping. They're super adjustable, which is nice, but it does also make it difficult to get them set right. And these have a flat, flat spot in them. And that's what you bring out. It's the tire. And you spin it like that. And then spin the other side. Got a good bite on her. Can't fall through. Let's get some straps on it. These straps can be really difficult to get set right because they ratchet on both ends and they're more primarily designed for a 19.5. So I'll be making a few stops on my trip just to double check them and make sure they're still tight. So what I do is I take this side and make sure it's good and done in. Go ahead and hook it up. that it sits in and we ratchet this old girl down tight let's give it a click for good measure back here too Excess. And then we do the same over here.
see the issue with these usually is clearance right here. That always gets in the way. Same with up here. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now let's cut the key on. We'll put the truck in neutral. I can get the drive shaft out. And let's see what we need for drive shaft tools. Looks like a ooh, old school. Looks like maybe a nut and a bolt. No, nope, just a bolt. Maybe a half inch six point. Let's see. Probably need an extension just to get far enough away from it. <sighs> All right, so I have a dry shift play. That's not a half inch. Smaller, way smaller than that. Three eighths. Uh, I shouldn't know that. Old, but it's just a little bit chilly makes your nose run oh, too small so I told myself I should have brought the whole kit I was like no you can surely you can guess the size haha uh -huh. jokes on me Apparently, I don't know nothing. back here. Uh, 
I'm unsure the reason for the tow. They say they make this trip regularly and they had a uh, spotter vehicle. They actually broke down yesterday. I didn't have enough personnel to do the job yesterday. So they were like, well, it's at a gas station. We can wait till tomorrow. It's like, all right, bet. So here we are tomorrow. Enough shaft out. in here this thing is in really good condition i mean dash has got a couple cracks in it to be expected it's an 81 or 83 model man it's really it's in really good shape power windows the doors shut good it's an old square body chevy you got to slam them but they shut good <laughs> drive shaft pulled strap strapped Safety change going on. Oh, gonna bring it into me first. There we go. You said right around the sway bar? No, just kidding. I'm gonna pick right inside the control arm here. bungee cords the ability to stretch a little bit gives me plenty of slack in my chains and keeps them off the ground okay now I need to put my tow light on man it's busy and I'm not putting it back there all right, so last thing is tow light. So we're gonna run. Got a nice metal bed, easy to handle. Ow, hit my head. I need to grab the, the cat was walking all over. That turn signal to sink. Ouch.
the bed, set it right there in the middle. I don't want it all the way down at the end because it'll be pointing down at the ground, so. That's that, guys. We're gonna get this thing back to Henderson, Kentucky. About, I wanna say four, four and a half hours away. Four, four hours, six minutes, 272 miles. We will definitely be making a few stops. So I got about half a tank of fuel right now. So we'll be getting uh, fuel, among other things. All right, guys. I'll update you as we go. exit I stopped at on the way down. Exit 46 right outside Columbia, Tennessee. Getting some go-go juice. So we are going to check over this thing and see how she's riding. Safety chains all look good. Everything's still sitting good. Still got daylight there. Check all my straps. Double check, make sure they're all tight. They are, those are. I realized but I left the uh, shifter down in neutral still. Not like it really matters that much. But she so got that going. Tow light's still alive, looking good. This is a good little middle area to stop and kind of double check everything. Kick the tires a little bit. So, strap feels tight. That one is. That one is. She's riding good, guys. No complaints for me. She sits a little deep in the uh, bus bars, but it's all right. Doesn't look like anything has uh, moved or slid. So cool, cool. It's a neat little truck. I always like these little ramp trucks. That was good. Oh, look at that. The good thing about Floki is it doesn't take long to get fuel. Dropping off here. Ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. There ain't no reason it's this high, but hey, that's somebody else's. Somebody else is doing, not mine. Anyway, we are going to go inside and grab a little snack and drink. Get back on the road. She's offloaded here at the uh, customer's house. He asked me to just drop it off right here in the yard or in the street. Uh, it does still run a little bit, he said, so that's, he's just going to pull it into the, back there into his shop, but other than that, that's the end of that one, guys. What are these things? Oh, Jordan. They don't get in no hurry to fold up or down, do they? That's the end of another one. I'm going to get the heck back home. It's just after 1 a.m. or 1 p.m., so... Pretty good turnaround, right about 10 hours, which is right what I thought it would be. We're gonna get the heck out of here and get back to the house and get a nap. Okay, bye.